Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. I grew up in the FLDS religion. It is a polygamous community run by Warren Jeffs. Uh, well, run by Warren Jeffs from his cell in prison. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved out of that community when I was 18 years old. And I was raised LDS and we have been married for almost eight years now. Crazy. Just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Today, we had to share like an update because a lot of times people will ask us certain questions about Warren Jeffs and Sam has been out of the community for so long that a lot of times yeah. we don't know a lot of the information that's like super current, I guess. Um, but Sam had an opportunity recently where he called me and he was like, babe, this just barely happened and I heard about this information and so we wanted to share it with all of you so you're getting some... New up-to-date information yes. on the things that Warren Jeffs is saying from his prison cell. Yeah, it's crazy because I've been out now for what? Almost 15 years has it been? Mm, 13, almost 13, 13, 13, 13, almost 13 years. Okay, I'm a couple of years ahead of myself. <laughs> Feels but, like 15. But I, <laughs> I've been out for a long time. That's, it seems like a lifetime ago. But uh, when I moved out, Warren Jeffs was already in prison. And he had been in prison for a couple of years at this point. So he's been in prison for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people ask all the time, like, how do you keep following somebody who's in, been in prison for and that long. And has been accused of all of these horrible things. How in the world are you still following this man? Or are people in general. Uh -huh. And honestly, there's a lot of people who aren't anymore. Yes. It's true. A lot <laughs> a lot of people have decided uh, in recent years, you know what, we're going to do our own thing. There have been other men that have uh, stood up and said, I received revelation that now I'm supposed to lead and now I'm the prophet, I'm the leader and all of this stuff going on. And certain groups of people in the community are following other men now. Other groups are just kind of living on their own, still technically, technically believing in Warren Jeffs, but don't really have any insight on what Warren Jeffs wants. They're just trying to base it off of the, the things he's, he's said in the past. Yeah, and quite a few, well, a couple years ago as well, um, Warren also had told anybody that was still faithful to leave the mm -hmm. Hilldale, Colorado City area because yep. too many apostates, meaning people who have left the church or no longer believe in Warren just as a prophet, had um, moved back, moved back yep. and stayed in that community. And so he actually told everyone to like separate and to leave and so there's no like organized mm -hmm. church anymore. Those type of things have already been kind of crumbling as time went on. And yep. the faithful people did leave yep. that. And the people who stayed were kind of then stamped with like, okay, they obviously don't believe in Warren <laughs> to a certain extent. At, at least, of, yeah, at least not uh, fully because all the ones that technically follow everything he says have moved out. My own, yep. my own family being one of them that have, that they moved out. I still have a lot of siblings and uh, parents that live and follow Warren Jeffs, and they moved out, and they still follow him to this day. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a little interesting. Another thing that some um, people have asked as well is, you know, how can they stay living that way? A lot of them still live the polygamy because they're not going to just abandon their wives and their families yeah. just because they stop believing in it or just because they stop believing in Warren Jeffs. So... And then a lot of times the clothes, they're just not comfortable because they've lived their entire lives with this certain standard of modesty. Yeah. So if you do, for those of you who are in Utah or in Arizona or in those areas and stuff, if you see people who are still dressed like that and you still see them with tons of kids and tons of wives, it doesn't necessarily mean that they believe in Warren Jeffs as a prophet anymore. Mm -hmm. um, now it just seems like there's still a lot of people who are still living that lifestyle because that's right. all they've really known. Right. And they're, you know, and they're already a family, so why... Why mess that up? So. Well, yeah, and like I said, you're not going to just be like, okay, well, I guess let me just eeny, meeny, miny, mo, pick which wife I'm going to stay with, <laughs> and the rest of you are booted out. Like, right. it's not realistic. They're going to keep their family together. Mm -hmm. They're going to continue yeah. with a lot of the things, I'm sure, and drop the things that they have problems with. Exactly. And, I mean, even for me, I was only out there for 18 years of my life, and it's still some some things I still have to think about. I'm like, man, that, like, it really affect, affected my life living that way and has, you know, affected some of my decisions even today. And so for some of those people that live up to, you know, the, the age of getting married and having kids and all that, 
it's just, it's not an easy switch to then live a different lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But getting into a little bit of what Warren Jeff's <laughs> saying, <laughs> I'd say first, the one um, interesting piece of information, because for a long time, mm -hmm. there were men, um, other leaders of the church who were going in, tell me if I'm wrong in any of this, but going in and receiving Warren Jeff's revelations and we're writing it down. And we've shared some of those before, right? Like that are getting messages from Warren. Um, but now... Sam said there's only one person who's allowed to go visit him, really. Well, yes. Uh, so he has, for the, in the most recent years, uh, his brothers were kind of the ones that were standing up and in charge of things. And so now the most recent information I got is it is now his daughter. And I believe one of his sons, which is kind of her so-called bodyguard or something that goes around with her, but she is the only one that is allowed to visit him any, anymore in prison. She's the only name on the list that is allowed to visit him. So now if she will go in and receive this information or so-called revelation from Warren Jeffs and take it back. So supposedly now one of Warren's daughters, one of, her, one of his oldest daughters, is kind of running the show. And Which is very interesting. Yes. But Warren is still to this day, so many years later, from prison... Uh, kind of dictating the lives of these people and, and telling them how to live their lives and the rules and the and the different things that he is coming up with these days are just it's just getting more and more and more crazy yeah yeah and we had um, uh, people ask this question and I know we had answered in some in the comments that you know for a period of time he had said that there were no longer allowed to be any like marital relations mm -hmm. and no children born which is since they don't proselyte or try to get any like conversions members, yeah, a, I mean, having a bunch of kids was really the only way that the church grew mm -hmm. for the most part. So it's interesting they did that. But Sam just found out that. Yeah, but now, <laughs> so no one that, that follows Warren Jeffs anymore, uh, except for very specific people, are allowed to have any kids. They're just not allowed. But the only people that are allowed are direct uh, descendants of him. So his kids are, are able to, I guess, I don't know if they're allowed to get married. I assume they are allowed to get married and have children. But only his posterity can continue to have children. Oh. So, I mean, it just once again, it's, it's seeming like he is become this person where if I can't have it, no one can have it. And so Basically. It's, he's just a very selfish man rotting away in prison and trying to hold on as tight as he can to any power he can have over these people. Unfortunately, very sad. Yeah, so for those of you who are wondering, yes, that's still a thing. And apparently now, I mean, because for a while, like even his own family, like no one, because they were just waiting for him to get out. Mm -hmm. And obviously I've heard like lots of his children have left, um, thank goodness. And yeah. there's a lot of even his own family members that have left. But now to have them be the only ones, basically it's going to end up becoming like the religion's already dying off as it yeah. is, but it's going to end up becoming like the Jeff family group rather than <laughs> well, uh, even, yes, yeah, rather than a community at all. Yeah. And well, it's not really a community anymore anyway, in the sense that they're kind of all scattered around uh, all over the place, but there's still certain people that are going to these families and spreading this information that's coming from Warren Jeffs. But from what I hear, uh, a lot of the families are now becoming a lot more lenient on the rules. They're not so st strict on, okay, this is what Warren says, so this is what we have to do. So it seems like over time, people are starting to realize things are just, I mean, this isn't, this it's isn't, too much. it's too much. This isn't normal. This is just not something we want to follow anymore. So we will see what happens. I know, I know for sure, probably my mother being one of these people, there will be a lot of people that go to their grave still believing in Warren Jeffs just because they have believed it their entire lives and they are holding onto that so tight. They don't want to, after so many years, come out and say or, you know, convince themselves that everything they stood for, everything they believed in was all wrong and false and didn't have to be practiced at all. That we would, can tell you from experience that that can be earth shattering <laughs> and life shattering no. and can be really hard. <laughs> Not something anyone wants to do. No. So I definitely sympathize and yeah. understand that. But yeah. it's, uh, it's definitely interesting to see the direction that he's going and <laughs> that he's still trying to keep it up at all. And I think you got to wonder that the families, too, 
like the ones that are loosening up on the rules a little mm-hmm. bit, you got to wonder if part of that is they like who's going to enforce it. Right. Okay. Like when you're when you're in a tight knit community and everyone can kind of tell on each other, or like you said um, in our last video, like if you're going up and shaking the prophet's hand every Sunday, there's mm-hmm. going to be that amount of fear of like, oh, he can see what I'm doing. Yeah. He knows whether or not I'm following the rules. But now that like the community's separated. And then on top of that, the rules he's making, it's like, how would anybody know how you're living your life on your yeah. own anyway? And so I feel like he's losing a lot of the the fear tactics. There's just no possible way for them to work yeah. anymore without community and without eyes on people, yeah. basically. And there were eyes on people back when I lived in that town in Hildell in Colorado City area. There were people that would just drive around the town and, and kind of, I don't, know if it was, I don't know if it was because they wanted to see what was happening or just to strike fear into people like oh there's people driving around watching what i'm doing i better be careful yeah. you know so yeah it's true i i agree with you it's probably a lot of just well no one's really watching me so you know we can we can be a little bit more lenient and then as they do that and realize that they can find like more happiness and more joy <laughs> and that they're not going to be smitten or yes. smote smote smitten <laughs> smoten yeah. how does Moana say that i think a lot of people from all different walks of life uh, if they if they start to loosen up a little bit on their rules and their the way of believing oftentimes can find that oh what I what I when I was told that when I don't believe this way I was going to be miserable and sad and all of these things it's not actually the case and I think that a lot of these FLDS members are finding that as well yeah so if yeah. you want to hear more about what it was like for Sam growing up in polygamy and find out more updates whenever we have the opportunity to share more about (laughs) Warren Jeffs' up to in prison, then please Mm -hmm. like and subscribe. And we'll talk to y'all soon. We'll talk to you soon.